register the name, but you just only get a registration that you can prove that you have copyright on it. I have a dream, that's all I need. I'll make it happen with some work and belief. So the question is, how do I copyright a name, title, slogan, or logo? So I'm gonna discuss this. So we have here on a drawing board we have a name, title, logo. We have three things, right? So if you look at those three things, you want to get the copyright on it. How does copyright work? I explained it in a lot of video, but we're gonna explain it again so you know the basic. When you talk about copyright, you always have three things. You have A, B, and C. A is the copyright itself. B is the person. It can also be a company. Do not worry about that. Same, same apply for C. It can be a person or a company. B, we call it the copyright holder, CH. And C is a third person that wants to use the copyright. Yeah. So the copyright holder, most of the time you see in the law who the copyright holder is. And in this case, if you meet the requirements of copyright, so if you meet the requirements of copyright, you will have the copyright. What are the requirements? I discuss those things in another video, but you can look at the video, but you can also look in the law. Yeah. So when you meet the requirement, you technically have a copyright. When you have a copyright, you are the copyright holder. If someone wants to use this right, so if C wants to use this right, C needs to have permission. Most time you get permission by getting a license. License is a contract and they give you permission and C pay a fee for that permission. Or sometimes people be like, okay, you know what? Here you have permission to use it. As long as you put my name on it. That's also a license. You see that a lot. For example, they say you're allowed to use my music on YouTube, but you need to put some attribution on it. Another thing that um, uses a lot is create creative comments. I think that's what they call it these days. It's a uh, system where you can show people how they can use your copyright work. Technically, if you create a blog, you see creative comments down and you see the license that they give you when you uh, want to use those information or the pictures of someone so this is basic copyright yeah so we have this here this is basic copyright and this is what you need to know but here we have name title and logo there's a reason why they choose uh, well, there's reason why they choose those three because those are special because if you look at name most people will go down the road of trademark. If you look up title, the same story. Logo, most people won't go um, for trademark unless it's necessary. Because um, let's start with the logo first then. And if you look at logo, when you have a logo, if you have a logo, let's say for your shoes or for your clothes or for your services, doesn't matter. Eh? you can register it as a trademark. The chances are high for you to get a trademark, especially if it's not a logo that um, doesn't look like something else. But if your logo create, um, let's say confusing, confuse, confuse of people, then the chances are low in order for you to get um, trademark. So keep that in mind. But the thing about logo is as soon as you create the logo, let's say this is my logo now, I create this logo and, and I meet the requirements of copyright, I have a copyright on it. And as long as I can prove that I have the date when I create the logo, I have copyright on it. Yeah, so that's, that's the thing with logo. The thing is with name, it's hard to claim copyright on it. Same with title, it's hard to claim copyright on it because logo, you have a lot of information. There's a lot of creativity behind it. But if you look at the name, if it's a special name, your nickname, there can be some creative creativity behind it. But copyright is more than only creativity. Keep that in mind. So when you look at the requirement of copyright, most of the time name and title, they do not meet the requirement of being copyright. That's why Sometimes you cannot have those things as copyright. I'm not saying it's impossible, but it's not like name. 
you cannot copyright it or title you cannot copyright it it doesn't work like that you need to look okay i have this what are the requirements of copyright i talk about it in another video yeah so if you ask the question so the question is not can i copyright name title and slogan and logo yeah i see slogan i forgot slogan so the question is not can i can i copyright those thing the, the question is how so they assume that you automatically can copyright these things but it doesn't work like that so for everything so you have a name look at it do i meet the requirements or not title do i meet the requirements of copyright or not logo do i meet the requirements of copyright or not most time it is the case slogan the same story yeah the reason why i'm saying this is because there are a lot of names out there and let's say the name alexander can i claim copyright on it let's say the name tomax can i cl claim copyright on it of course not yeah. there's nothing um, creative about it or whatever so it's going to be difficult title same story so you need to check okay do i meet the requirements of copyright or not so when you have those four things check it first and then when you meet the requirement you automatically have copyright on it the only problem is prove when did you have copyright on it you can register the name but you just only get a registration that you can prove that you have copyright on it. it's that simple so keep that in mind so how do i copyright it you don't and you just need to make sure okay do i meet the requirement of copyright and you can find the requirements in the law i made another video where you can find the document i'm going to show you so if you go to another scene i'm going to show you the document so you see this is the law in australia about copyright and if you want to know more about the copyright rules you go here part four so copyright act part four you go here and here you can read the basic rules about copyright you go down and you can read about it and what the requirements are the reason why i do not uh, talk about it during the stream because you have a lot of um different types of copyright rules in this law that's why i'm not going to discuss everything because otherwise it's going to be a really really long video i prefer to you give me situation i will look at it and see okay you know what we are we are dealing with this is that simple yeah so if you look at the question because we are discussing question i hope i'm not going too far how do i copyright the title slogan or logo you don't you just need to make sure that you look at the requirements do you meet the requirements of copyright or not that's really simple you show if you have question about this just go on the link below you see on the link below you come on this page and if you have question you join the law center and during the law center you can ask me a question about this directly if you don't have a budget and uh, you have some legal issue or if you have some question about copyright in australia feel free to join our legal session here you press here and you come into the channel where for free legal advice and there you can ask me anything if you find this information useful and you can use it you said and if you want to do something in return buy me a coffee it's only three dollar five dollar so why not i have a dream that's all i need i'll make it happen with some work and believe know what i want so i'll take it on i've made mistakes but mistakes make you strong let's break it down for a minute i want the crown i'm gonna get it you hear me loud man i'm winning yeah charlie sheen will be